Now we are going to see the next tool part is called surface rough contour tool part. Uh, this tool part we can also call as a semi finishing tool part uh, because this tool part is not suitable for removing the excessive material. This uh, tool part only machine the profile. Even this tool part does not cut the uh, flat surfaces. It cuts only the profile and the uh, uh, and the uh, curvature area. Okay, so this comes under the uh, profile machining, uh, and also we call as uh, semi-finishing tool part. Okay. Uh, 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 keep in uh, mind that uh, this is not the uh, complete uh, machining uh, roughing tool path. It is the semi-finishing tool path. Okay. Uh, you cannot use this uh, tool path for uh, roughing. Okay. Suppose uh, the, uh, the casting uh, you have got, uh, but uh, only the 5 months stock is there in the casting. Then in that case you can utilize this uh, uh, contour tool part for the uh, machining. Okay. Uh, now we taken the uh, previous uh, model where already we have done. So now I selected yes, all dry surfaces. And if you want, I can give the containment boundary and say okay. Now we will take the uh, six uh, ball mill. So, so now I keep the stock inside only and stock to leave um, stock uh, on uh, so 0.2 mm I am keeping stock to leave for a finishing operation. Uh, maximum step down uh, I say 0.5 and switch on optimize cut order and and uh, I will say a uh, follow surface. Uh, transition I have kept the, uh, the transition means uh, uh, moving from one depth to the next depth, how that uh, tool has to move. Okay? And the cutting method we said is this that. This uh, contour tool path uh, never cuts the flat surface. It uh, machine only uh, uh, vertical surface and the curved surface, but it will not uh, machine the uh, horizontal surface. Okay, this is also important to note in this particular tool path. Okay, I am accepting this. So now it is uh, regenerating and you can see that it is not at all touched the flat area. Uh, even at the, at the on web and also at the top, it is not touched anywhere. Even and you can see that it is maintaining the step over all uh, curvature and vertical profile. And the top and the bottom and all four uh, uh, projections, side projections at the top, it has not mentioned. Okay. So, So we can see the transition how it is uh, changed. I uh, just uh, we are uh, changing the transition from uh, hollow surface to helical. Uh, we can see that how the transition happening between one depth to another depth. It is making a loop. Okay. So it is creating everywhere one loop to enter and exit. Okay. So it is, uh, it is entering uh, into the next depth by helical and another is a broken transition. It will make one step and uh, uh, go for machining. Okay. 
you can see here uh, I'll zoom it you able to see now that first step so this is the broken this is the broken method another trend is ramp so it will move in at an angle so it is an angular entry so it's very difficult to identify the entry because uh, uh, with when ramp it is uh, moving continuously so it's very difficult to know where it is exactly uh, the angle it is going to do and the final one is the uh, follow surface now you can see back plot and see how this uh, ramping is happening mm. so so uh, angularly it will change the you can see here so directly it goes on one by one to the next step next step like this can see that this is the ramping so this is the ramping of the uh, um, tool path so this is the transition so transition means uh, uh, from one depth to next depth how the tool is a transit or move from one depth to next step. that is the transition okay uh, uh, another thing i have explained to you that it is not the machining a flat surface so both uh, uh, if there is a flat surface means then we need to go for shallow uh, option you have to select so you can uh, machine the flat and uh, 0 to 10 degree angle surfaces if you want to machine you can you can use the shallow uh, tool top uh, if at all you want to check how this is uh, functioning you can utilize uh, this tool part and understand the how the shallow tool part will be I selected the trace surface and uh, I selected the containment boundary. Uh, as so we know that this is the flat area, so the tool will take the uh, bull and mill. Uh, it's not fair that uh, taking ball and mill for machine flat. So uh, that's the reason I am taking uh, bull and mill. And now, now we will keep the stock if at all required. Otherwise, if you want to clean the uh, flat surface 0, 0, you can keep it 0. Okay, uh, next page, uh, machining angle and uh, maximum step over and here this angle, 0 to 10 degree. So it means that it will search the entire model and try to find out the uh, a surface uh, uh, between lies between 0 to 10 degree. Only on that area it will generate the tool path. Okay. Uh, the, uh, how the contour tool path uh, will not uh, cut flat surfaces similarly this uh, uh, this uh, uh, shallow tool path will not cut the profile and the vertical wall it will cut only the uh, horizontal uh, surfaces uh, which lies between 0 to 10 degree uh, I think there are lots of retractions for the uh, you can uh, you can uh, optimize uh, cut third so that you can reduce the uh, retractions
I will, I will reset the stop to maintain the uniformity. Uh, so, in, in case, in case if you want to check the STL comparison, you should have uniform uh, stop. Uh, that's the reason I have just remodified it. Only uh, on the flat area is my uh, mesh under. Can you see? It is machined at the bottom. Hmm? Uh, you can we can check. Uh, uh, you go there. Uh, optimize cut order. We can switch on. Some tool for this optimize cut order will be outside, or some tool for it should be in the cap setting. You can switch on the optimize cut order. Okay, okay. So now you can see that the uh, number of uh, retractions will reduce. Okay, how much has uh, the biggest uh, reduction in the retraction? Okay, so this is the optimized cut order, how they magically work and reduce the, uh, reduce the uh, uh, retraction. Okay, now we can check uh, by uh, a simulation uh, all these three uh, means uh, semi finishing. Sorry, I made a mistake. It should be stop point two. No, in semi finishing I made it point two, and uh, and the shallow also I should have kept the point two. Okay, so I will make it. Uh, uh. So now uh, after semi finishing the entire model is uh, uh, zero point uh, two material is left out for finishing. Okay. Now we will select all this. Uh, Okay. Oh, one more uh, intermediate file we should have made it. Okay. Okay, we can run. So now it will just the rest machine. And suppose if you want to uh, do one more intermediate. Uh, a stock file. If you want to put, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, make it uh, by considering the estimation as uh, one more additional stock uh, model. Then in that case, you should have used only the uh, contour and the shallow tool path for semi finish. Okay. But uh, in this case, we have not uh, made the uh, additional stock for uh, estimation. So that's the reason we have selected uh, rest machining also as one of the uh, machining simulation. Okay. So I think uh, in this file uh, we have made uh, two uh, rest machining, maybe for. I just made the fast forward to show you the entire thing. So now uh, we made it in different different colors. Uh, the center looks nothing. Uh, no no tool has entered there. Okay, so there is a material on the uh, center. So now for comparing, I will keep a point two as a stop for comparison and. Uh, I'll start to compare and see that whether uh, yes uh, on the center and the corners there is a little more material than point two. Okay, but even though in the center it is little uh, look look uh, more material, definitely it is more than point two. Material is more than point. Two. Uh, because uh, so we have done the semi finishing contour and the shallow. So so 
Over we just uh, uh, done this kind of finishing. Uh, means uh, two tool parts uh, combinedly we have seen Kanto and uh, Shallow. Okay. Most of the places these two tool parts are the uh, combined tool parts. Uh, okay. Thank you.